Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the details about capacitor start, capacitor run, induction motor coming under single phase induction motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Single phase induction motor, one of the type is capacitor start, capacitor run, induction motor. We know that induction motor is not a single phase induction motor is not a self-starting motor. In order to make the self-starting, we need to do the single phase is converted into two phase, the two phase windings. There are two we need to make it to two phases. And also the current flowing through these two phases should have a phase difference. Then only the revolving magnetic field will be created. So the first condition should have two windings. Second condition that should be 90 degree phase shift between the current flowing through this the winding. So now we will see if it is single phase what happens. Let us consider having only one phase the current is flowing through the winding. So current I. So due to alternating nature of the current the alternating flux will be produced during positive off cycle positive flux will be produced during negative off cycle negative flux will be produced. The average of these two will be zero. Positive flux and negative flux both are got cancelled become zero. So by using only one phase the current flowing through the single phase mean due to the nature of positive off cycle negative off cycle the net flux is zero. So that we are making two, two windings in that the, 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 the should be from space difference between the current. Let us consider the phase difference is 90 degree, approximately 90 degree. After 90 degree, the current through the second winding start flows. So what happens if it is 90 degree phase difference is there, then it is approximately 90 degree. See this, in this area, the current is decreasing. So the flux will decrease, but in the second current start increasing. So there should be always because of phase difference, one current is decreasing mean another current will increase. Based on that, the flux will, you will get the net flux. The uh, average of these two flux is always available. So that re re revolving magnetic flux will be created, RMF will be created. So due to that only we are having two windings in that there should be a 90 degree phase difference. So similar to this, in this we will see the capacitor start, capacitor run induction motor, the circuit diagram is there. This is the rotor, rotating part. Stator we have two windings, main winding and starting winding. In previous case, capacitor start induction motor is there. This one is capacitor start, capacitor run. Only capacitor start induction motor is there. In that, capacitor will be disconnected after running the motor. Here we are not disconnecting. So that it is called a starting winding and running, main winding. So the starting and running winding we have two windings are there to make a phase difference between the current the capacitor is connected in the starting winding. We know that capacitor will lead the current applied voltage the voltage the current is leading the voltage by approximately 90 degree that is the nature of the capacitor so it will lead the applied voltage. So there should be a phase difference between these two current that is the main current IM main winding current and starting winding current is so these two there should be a phase difference of approximately 90 degree that is created by the capacitor so here we are not using centrifugal switch it is capacitor this winding is used for starting purpose as well as running purpose it's not disconnected in previous case it is disconnected separate video available capacitor start induction motor separate video available but here there is no centrifugal switch during running also the starting winding is connected right now we'll see the description this motor is similar to capacitor start motor except that there is no centrifugal switch and the starting winding and capacitors are permanently connected in the circuit so there is no centrifugal switch Starting winding and capacitor is permanently connected. In previous case, it is disconnected based on the centrifugal action, but it is connected permanently. That's why it is called capacitor start, capacitor run induction motor. 
during starting period the single phase motor is converted into two phase motor so the one of the condition we need to have two windings so here, here we are having two winding main winding and um, starting winding then the next condition phase difference how we are getting the phase difference the phase difference between the starting winding and main winding current is exceeded by capacitor in series with the starting winding so this capacitor will make the phase difference of current flowing through the starting winding and main winding the current im drawn by the main winding lacks the applied voltage so the main winding only the coil is available so it will the due to high reactance it will lag the lag the voltage this current im is lagging with the applied voltage now we'll see what about the starting current is so the current is through the starting winding drawn by the starting winding leads the applied voltage due to the capacitor connected so the main winding current lagging the voltage starting winding current leading the voltage because of capacitor action so the phase angle between the two current is and im large compared to the split phase motor one more type is available split phase motor that is due to normal reactance value the there is a phase difference between the currents that would be very less but compared to this split phase the, the lagging between the is and I, im is here more because we are connected capacitor in split phase there is no capacitor only based on the reactance value there is some phase difference between the current therefore starting torque is proportional to the sign of phase angle between im and is so the starting torque is purely based on the sign of angle between the im and is now we'll see the further detail by having capacitance in in the circuit both during starting as well as running period we have the following advantage in previous type the capacitor is there but it is disconnected after getting the required speed the starting winding is disconnected based on the centrifugal axis using the centrifugal switch but here during running also we are connecting the capacitor so due to that some advantages available power factor of the motor increases high efficiency no centrifugal switch so there is no mechanism of centrifugal switch capacity of the motor is improved quick running of the motor so these are all the some advantages the starting torque is about 50 to 120 percentage of full load torque right the starting torque we have approximately 125 percentage then we have the application and other things the direction of rotation is changed by interchanging the connection of main or starting winding so this is a normal procedure either main winding or starting winding if you reverse the direction of rotation also reversed the applications are the ceiling fans so in the ceiling fan we know that capacitor is there so during running also it is connected blowers air air circulators so these are all the some applications of the uh, capacitor start capacitor and induction motor so in this video we discuss one one of the type of single phase induction motor capacitor start capacitor run in this the main one, first condition is we have two windings to make a single phase induction motor self starting so here we have two windings starting and main winding and there should be a phase difference of current in the main winding and starting winding that is achieved by connecting one capacitor in series with the starting winding and here it is capacitor is permanently connected during running also connected so due to that some advantages are available and the torque developed also very more and also we discuss applications subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination